Hi guys, greetings of the day. Please welcome to my YouTube channel, myself uh, Vijay Tavardhan. And in this session, we are going to have a small discussion on ISO, how to draw the isometric projection of an example problem, which is like this. A cone of base diameter 50 millimeter and height 60 millimeter is placed centrally on an equilateral triangular prism of side 100 millimeter and 20 millimeter thick. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. So according to the given condition, we have to uh, position a cone which is at the center of the triangular prism. The required orthographic projection is going to be obtained like this. Now let me show you how to draw the isometric projection of the same. Now when uh, we see that uh, at the bottom we have an equilateral triangular prism of 100 millimeter side. Uh, so that is what we can observe here. Now I am going to draw a small constructional line. So that is from the near, I am going to draw one of the median here. Now we needed to two dimensions that is one as the length of this line and the length of this line. Uh, we have got the two different measurements. Uh, now let me show you how to do the isometric projections of the scene. In detail, we have already discussed in the isometric basics. So one can go through the basics videos, how to construct a uh, triangle, then you can uh, learn the things properly. Now, what I'm going to do is 100 millimeter and followed by 150 millimeter angle, I'm going to draw this uh, vertical line at the left axis parallel. Then using the midpoint symbol, then I'm going to draw a length of 86.6 millimeter at an angle of 30 degree. Then one can construct the required triangle as per the conditions. So now you can see the size of this uh, uh, triangle is going to be 100 millimeter in case of isometric. Then after drawing this triangle, now one can see that we wanted to increase this triangle for a thickness of uh, 20 millimeter. So let me draw one of a line uh, that is this edge is going to represent the visible edge. So that is going to increase the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter. Then selecting only the visible edges as per the requirement, then we are going to position that visible edges slightly below the uh, axis like this that is at a distance of 20 millimeter. Then uh, using a line command, we are going to connect all the visible edges like this. Now one can say that the triangular prism is completed in all aspects. Then using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13, we are going to draw one more median for the face over here to get the center. Now from the center, we know that the height of the uh, cone is uh, 50 millimeter, sorry, 60 millimeter. So we will draw a 60 millimeter height line at the top and 20 millimeter at the bottom to represent the axis of the uh, triangular prisms. And this is the axis of the cone and this is the axis of the triangular prism. So axis should be represented in the chain line. So we will uh, change the line type to a continuous, sorry, uh, axis line to a chain line like this. Then we know that uh, a circle is going to be represented in the form of an ellipse. Now for which we have to construct a square to construct the ellipse. So using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 and a continuous line. Now let me construct that cone first. Now we know that. So uh, the size of the square is supposed to be 50. So 50, 30, 50, 150, 50 minus 150 and get back to the first portion of 50 minus 30. Then uh, using the technique called as the four arc method, so one can draw these constructional lines. And then uh, all those things in detail we have discussed in our uh, the basics, so one can visit the basics and then you are going to get those things. And then one can see that we are going to draw the uh, respective arcs. Now we have drawn two arcs, now we are going to draw the third arc and then finally the four arcs. The fourth arc I am going to draw. Now one can see that by drawing all these four arcs, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select only these four arcs, then using a move command, move this arc with respect to the uh, center here. So this is going to be the center point. That arc has to be positioned exactly at the uh, end point of the axis over here like this. Now one can see that the arc has been constructed. The construction lines can be deleted now. Then using a line command with a continuous line and 0 0.5 mm thick, we have to draw a line tangential to this, uh, that is tangential to the arc to the apex point and then apex to the again point on element and tangent. Now using the trim command we can eliminate the unwanted lines which is invisible. Now one can see that the isometric view or drawing has been completed. Select this figure 
go to a command called as scale then reduce it to isometric projection scale factor of 0.8164 times now one can see that the isometric projections of the given combination is completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and you can like this video and you can share this video to all your first year engineering students and also you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can press the bell icon to get the latest video updates as and when it is going to be received for you guys thank you very much once again for watching my youtube channel